are they doing that? I don't even think it's personal. I bet if they met you, they'd be nice. Yeah. <laughs> And this time, he is the champion. Look at the facial expressions of TJ Dillashaw. He has that of a man who is expecting himself to not only beat Burrell again, but beat him even better. And a smile on his face because he is doing what he truly loves. He was TJ Dillashaw is a better fighter than when they fought the first time. This kid does not stop working. He is a machine. He trains incredibly hard and incredibly smart. The champion in the black trunks, the challenger in the white trunks. Footwork absolutely spectacular on the side of TJ Dillashaw. Look at how confident he comes out. TJ in the southpaw stance here. Beautiful jab by TJ. Nice knee by TJ. Oh, he hurt him. Got it over the top and connected. Burrell's in trap again. He tagged him again. Two big shots landed by the champion. Whereas Bang and Justin Buckholds in the corner of TJ Dillashaw, extremely confident and their advice technical. One oh, man said he's done, stuff. the other said he's breaking. This might be it right here. That's it. Dillashaw, look at him finish his fight. DJ Dillashaw! Unbelievable! It is all over! Dillashaw remains the champion! Outstanding. Outstanding. What a combination. have a belt at present, but for my money, this is still one of the best pound-for-pound -pound mixed martial artists on the planet. The former UFC Bantamweight King, now number two in the world, TJ Dillashaw. Yeah, and he really did defuse Lineker, who's one of the scariest guys in the division. Lineker was completely ineffective against TJ, and it was because of his footwork, his movement, and all the knowledge that he's accumulated. So here we go, 25 minutes if needed. TJ Dillashaw, Cody Garbrandt, one of, if not the biggest UFC Bantamweight Championship fight this Octagon has ever hosted. Well, Cody feels like he owes TJ something, at least for this title reign. He did well against him in practice when he was 1-0, and Dillashaw, and that success, gave him confidence that he could do this, and a flurry for the champion. Woo! It's getting hot in here. Historically underappreciated. Here is the two-time UFC Bantamweight champion, TJ Dillashaw. And had a couple split decisions gone his way, he could be riding a 13-fight winning streak with seven Bantamweight title defenses. I'm not sure we understand just how elite this fighter has been for more than a half a decade here at 135 pounds. What we saw in that first fight by Cody knocking down TJ in the first round and TJ knocking out Cody in the second round was that this fight this matchup is so tight, so closely matched, and both guys are such killers, that literally it's a matter of who zigs and who zags and when the shot lands. Dillashaw embraces fight week to such an extent, he's smiling because there's no place he'd rather be than fighting another man in an octagon. Kobe's looping, trying to knock TJ out, whereas TJ is a lot tighter in there. Another Here right again. Garbrandt nearly out on his feet. Big right hand! Oh, TJ Dillashaw gonna close this out. Warning from Herb Dean for a shot to the back of the head. Garbrandt in a world of trouble. Oh, Big knee! 